I must say that by the time I actually got to doing that painting, I had it in mind pretty clearly, uh, and I and it came off uh, pretty swimmingly, which does happen, you know, especially after you've been at, at it for forty years. Uh, it it came off pretty 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 smoothly as far as I didn't have any, you know emotional crisis or anything, <laughs> which sometimes does happen, especially with the big pieces. And you, because you don't want to put, you, you don't want to put any work out that doesn't have about it the evidence of inspiration. And, uh, and you don't want to put out any work that doesn't work. And uh, especially something that's, what, nine feet or 10 feet across, like that painting. Well, it's not too far from where I live in Galisteo, New Mexico, uh, and it's sort of a landmark, the geologic formation. It's the slang word for it around the area is the hogback. But the uh, scientific name for it is uh, a, a volcanic dike. And it's, uh, it's where the earth opened up millions of years ago, and the, the opening was filled with lava and then it naturally cooled into basalt. And then a big, enormous river came through there that was bigger than the Mississippi and um, deposited on that dam, uh, that dike, and built up what we see today as the, the, the hogback or the, the volcanic dike. Uh, it's south of Galisteo, about five miles, and it has uh, incredible petroglyphs on it. Amazing, world-class, life-size warriors with uh, shields and things like that on those dark rocks. And a lot of people, uh, you know, think I'm interested in geology and all those sort of things, but actually I'm not. You know, it's it's just, it's, I'm a visual person, and I uh, and uh, it's it's just the shapes and the uh, the the light and the space that excites me about the uh, about. Uh, what, what I come to paint. 